pretty close, trying to look at what we were spending this year. And if we knew of a reason that we need to increase or decrease it for fiscal year 14, we did. Our pharmaceuticals, we feel like we're gonna stay about the same. We spent 86,000, it's always one of our big line items. The only other change, um, major changes in here. I, I increased travel a little. I, I know in fiscal year 13, where travel was actually down, so I projected we would spend about 17,000. I increased it back up a little from fiscal year 14. That's just an estimate. I just don't know on the travel. I think it environmentalists probably have more travel in the budget than, than most people because of their job they do. Y'all have any questions on those? We can talk in more detail about them if y'all have any questions on them. On, on the resources, and, and as y'all remember, the grant aid formula did change a couple of years ago. And Lowndes, in the original formula, Lowndes would have lost about 250,000 over a seven year period. Now every year they've been adjusting that based on population and poverty. And then last year, I was looking back, I actually brought my forms with me because it's so hard when you're trying to analyze this because it's changing every year. But in 2013, when they redid the formula, we were only gonna lose 156,000 over a seven year period. Now we've got the new numbers for fiscal year 14, which is good for Lowndes County. Now the change is only 116,000. So I hope it goes in that direction and we our loss is gonna go lower and lower. But the good thing about the first three years of it, they've done the whole harmless. So we've actually have not lost any money and they've rolled that money back into the actual formula. So we, they can't go back and take those first three years of the loss, which would have been about 45% of the total loss. They gradually did it like 15% per year. So that loss, you know, we, you know, after that, we can still see a loss in the future years. And, and that's, and I break the grant date down, you know, because over the years, every time these health insurance and retirement increases, rates have gone up. I like to show it on a separate line item because I, I don't like to get it mixed in with my base when I'm trying to go back and analyze that base. And they roll it back into the base every year, but I keep it pulled out so I can really understand the numbers better. But that is what, when you see the, amounts they're giving us for health insurance and retirement. I do want to point out though, the 355 and the 207, that's not all for the health department. If you look back up under expenses, you see this inter-inter-agency transfer. Instead of giving every, we've got about 70 programmatic grants that run through the Lee County Health Department. And we, the state programs can actually get this increase. And we do a spreadsheet every year, look at what they give us. and based on their salary amounts, we calculate a percentage of that money that goes to each program, and I pull that back out as a transfer. So some of this money actually stays in the health department, some of it goes back out to those programs to cover their increase. This assessment 